Hi guys, Dr. Bafsa here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to present your data from practical investigations in an appropriate table. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to go through the OCR guidance for tables. First rule, pun intended, of tables is we've got to draw a bounding box with a ruler. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, now that we've got our box, what goes where? So this is where my independent variable will go, and I will title it, yeah? Independent variable and units, if required. Okay, that's going to go down here. Once I've got that, it's the dependent variable, and that's going to go on the right-hand side columns. Okay, so uh, independent variable. How do you know what's your independent variable? Remember, it's the thing that you are changing. Uh, it's the factor that you are investigating. And I'm just adding these extra notes because it's not always obvious. Like in some cases it is, in many cases it is, but in some cases it's not obvious so how do you identify your independent variable there will be the things that you are investigating the thing yeah that you're looking into it's going to be the thing that you might have uh, that that you might be changing okay intentionally so you know it might be some it might be something also that can be identified as you've got a range of Okay, so these three things usually identify your independent variable. We got our dependent variable again um, with unit up top there. And then you're going to have your dependent variable here. Now, sometimes you might have a number of um, repeat measurements, but they'll go across like so. It might be that you just have one measurement and that will go in there. So how this is where we record our raw data. Okay, our result. Yeah. Now, uh, there are a few important things here also. Uh, raw data and results, uh, the, the numbers have to be recorded here and we must have no units, very important, no units in the main body of the table. Okay, what's next? No units and we must record the decimal places. The decimal places or, you know, the magnitude of, of the number, the decimal places must uh, be appropriate for the device that you're using. So if you're using a stopwatch and you're recording time, if the stopwatch has got um, tens of seconds and hundreds of seconds, i.e. maybe two decimal places, then that th your, your data, you can't round that up yourself. You have to record the numbers that it says on the stopwatch. If you've got a measuring cylinder and you can you can be accurate and read the measuring cylinder to a 0.5 of a centimeter cubed you can't round that up yourself for convenience you must put that um, 10.5 or 10.0 etc you must put those uh, according to the accuracy or precision of the device that you're using so decimal places must be appropriate okay uh, for equipment being used now, the other thing about decimal places is that they must be consistent, right? So decimal places uh, must be the same. doesn't matter if you've measured something, uh, you know, something 10 centimeters cubed and something else 11.5. You must write 10.0 and 11.5, etc. So the, the decimal places, first of all, is determined by the accuracy or the level uh, or I forgot the T there. Uh, it, the decimal places is first determined by the equipment that you're using, okay? But secondly, once you've got that number of decimal places, it must be con consistent uh, for all the data. It might be good for us to number this. The first most important part of our table is the independent variable. The second part of our table is the dependent variable and then the, the main body of the table. So that then takes us to three there is another part which is processed data. Sometimes from your data you need to make calculations and you can also keep those calculations in the table. They don't have to be separate. Okay, so especially when the calculation is, is an important uh, readout of the results. So wh what that is called is processed data. Okay, now processed data 
will go on a column on the far right of the table. So we're just going to draw that in before we do anything else. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so four is our processed. We might need to do some calculations to these numbers to get these numbers, but we don't show those calculations in the table. So don't show, don't show calculations, okay? What you do, will do is show calculated values, those numbers you will show, and the other rule is they will have one more decimal place than whatever val numbers, uh, whatever decimal places you had here, okay? So one more or one greater number of decimal place, okay? And I believe that that is it. Guys, it has been my genuine pleasure and honor to talk about tables, okay? And I try to do it as quickly as possible uh, for you. This is very, very important. Um, for most of your practicals that you do in the write-up, you're gonna be presenting data. And in order to kind of do it appropriately and you know show that you're doing it in a scientific way, it does need to follow this format, okay? So actually, got also these ruled lines, right? So that's important. Point number zero, before we do anything, we gotta be making those lines with a ruler or, you know, neatly, okay? No, with a ruler. Doesn't matter if it's pen or pencil, but it does need to be ruled lines with a border, okay? Independent variable right here. Dependent variable, the thing that's being measured, forgot to mention that, okay? Quantity, so these could be measurements, quantity measured, okay? Whoops. So it could be measurements. Sometimes it could be qualitative observations, right? So, so if it's quantity, it's usually like volumes being measured, time being measured, things like that. But sometimes you're doing qualitative measurements just on observations, like, you know, color changes, etc. So it could be qualitative observation, but they go here as well. Okay, so dependent variables, the things that are the readouts of the experiment, the, the, the th quantities being measured, the results observed, right? And three, data, four, processed data, and then how we might include that in the table as well. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm out.